Hey everybody, I'm Exony, and I feel pretty bad right now. Just not not like I'm sick or anything, not like, you know, I've been out in the cold, caught one myself. More as, I was playing TF2 and I was using the Criticola, and I have never felt bad using a weapon before in this game. Like, I use the Darwin's Danger Shield, and I don't feel bad using that, because I know it's overpowered, but it's in the game, so I might as well use it, you know? But, like, even with that, I don't feel bad using that one. I know someone's gonna go off on me, like, oh my god, use the Darwin's Danger Shield, what a scrub. It's in the game, so, you know, I use it, that's about it. But the Criticola, this is like the first time I've actually used it and this thing is dumb like it just makes a scout better at being a scout it replaces your pistol I mean oh okay cool you don't have a pistol but you have a scatter gun that can do 142 damage that's enough to you know one shot other scouts you don't even need that pistol to clean up damage on them like do I deserve to be able to one shot other scouts engineers you know snipers just because I drank a soda and what else does it do okay you know it can one shot late classes that's all right it makes you move faster so if you're fighting a heavier soldier it makes it way easier to dodge because they're not going to be used to that increased speed you're moving at and okay so you know what's the downside to all of this well you take 10 percent more damage what that's it <laughs> i mean if you take 10 percent more damage that doesn't even mean you're going to get one shot by a pipe a pipe will only do 110 damage i mean the candy cane makes you get one shot by a pipe i mean and the candy cane's reward is oh people drop a health pack when they die that's like nothing compared to you know being able to one shot light classes and move faster okay but there's got to be something else to this right well, i mean after the eight seconds of you know just being a god mode scout you get uh two seconds of mark for death which doesn't mean anything because if you're a good scout or even decent with this thing in those eight seconds you'll be able to end any fight you have and the mark for death won't mean anything because you'll just get out with your speed boost and yeah so why is this weapon so dumb well because this weapon was designed for pub play in like a 12v12 server where the scout's not gonna be able to get much done but like an open map like king of the hill even in like a 12v12 casual match you can still get a ton done because of how open it is and like how maneuverable you are I mean, equip this with the atomizer if you really want to just be unhittable while you're using it. And my aim on scout isn't amazing, but decent enough to be able to just destroy people with this weapon. It's not even fair. When I t win a fight with this with another scout, I don't feel I deserved it. And I missed most of my shots, and then I just get one 144 damage shot or whatever, and he's gone. It's like, did I really deserve this win? But that's not even the worst part. It's just how little risk there is for using it. I mean, like I said, the 10% damage bonus, I mean, the candy cane like I said has more of a risk for using it than this weapon and the candy cane is like trash I really don't like that weapon that's another story but the critical like it's such amazing upsides and just doing more damage and giving you more speed I mean it works as a utility item as well as just enhancing your ability to be a scout I mean so you're on a 5 CP map you know uh, let's say process and you just drink that right before the round starts you're gonna be showing up to mid so much faster than the other scouts you might even beat a soldier there if they mess up their jump or it's a slower rollout map I mean that's insane because of that utility that it gives the scout at that point. The speed boost alone is insanely good just because the scout is already super fast, he's super mobile, and he does really good burst damage. That's like his job, but let's give him an item that just makes him better at doing burst damage and moving fast, and you know, eh, he'll take like 10% more damage. Like, that's nothing. That's like pain train increased damage. So, what's so wrong with this weapon then? It's just it does too much and it hurts you it hurts you too little when you get killed by someone using this in a pub it doesn't feel fair it doesn't feel like you deserve to lose it and when you kill someone with it it doesn't feel like you deserve to lose so something needs to be done about this so either needs to be a bigger downside to using it like 25 percent damage vulnerability so you can be one shot so you are do just become a glass cannon because right now that's sort of what it seems like they want it to be is the glass cannon scout but in the implementation it doesn't really do that so Either they need to increase like the damage you take when you have this weapon out and or when you have the drink drank or they need to split it, you know, make you choose one or the other or do like an equalizer thing with it where they make one item that increases your speed and one item that increases your damage. Even if they did that, that would be kind of iffy because there still need to be downsides to each of those because I don't want a drink that just makes a scout go faster for like no downside or a drink that just makes scouts do mini crits for no downside because that's a lot of damage they can output. Now I'm not one to complain that a weapon is broken in this game or like overpowered because I believe that a lot of the weapons in this game are utility weapons that have situational usages that can, a weapon that can be used in any situation like the axe extinguisher, the Sydney sleeper, the red tape recorder, and those weapons are bad. They have a situational use that makes them less used than other ones. And I don't like to say that any weapon is overpowered or like, you know, broken, except the Criticola is just stupid because like I've said, this weapon gives you too much reward for too little risk that you put into 
into using it. And it makes like even the most basic scouts machines that can pump out damage because you don't really need to be able to hit most of your shots to do work with this weapon. This thing needs to be changed. Like this is the one weapon that I think really needs to be changed in Team Fortress 2 just because it's dumb. <laughs> It doesn't make sense like someone was sitting there one day and they're like you know let's just make the scout better at being the scout what, what kind of downsides do we give him oh uh, nothing too severe you know i don't want to like hurt him too bad for doing this and i understand that the weapon was designed for use in pub play but even in casual matches this weapon is still dumb unless you're on you know like gold rush or something where there's just choke point city this weapon you still have enough room to get around and maneuver especially if you have the atomizer equipped you're not going to be hit while using this if you have decent movement because you move 10% faster, so soldiers and demo man or anyone is not is gonna have a harder time hitting you because they're not used to tracking a scout moving that fast, jumping that many times. And if you really want to mess them up, jump over their head and then jump back. They will not be able to hit you 100%. I can promise you that with the speed that you're moving at, they're just not gonna be able to hit you. So that's all I really wanted to say. I mean, it's really late right now. I probably should be getting to bed, but I wanted to complain about this weapon a bit to all of you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you think this weapon is also pretty dumb I mean or if you think like of a way that you would like this weapon nerfed or like changed or anything else you know leave a comment I try to respond to as many of those as I can and like always have a great day